kind of think of a point in my life that was like a more bigger moment than that. Like the world come crashing down, but um, you know, everything happens for a reason. I couldn't tell you why it happened or what, but it's going to save a lot of lives. It's it's just God's plan, and it? it must have been the way it is when your time's up, your time's up, and obviously it's a us to this day. I really struggle with with, with the depression about them and stuff, which I want to battle every day, but. Uh, I just think as long as I'm being a good person, getting up every morning, trying my best, then it's all good. I know many amateur clubs that you know just run on donations and funding. They don't even charge. You know the the boxes. So all these little things help, and they're a lot of money. And I I, I can't imagine there'd be many clubs out there that would actually you know get the funding for their own. There was, I think there was around 10 people there when uh, Paul passed away and he was the only person that knew. It could have been a simple thing of just putting them on his side and clearing his airwaves and he might st still be in there today, but hindsight's a wonderful thing. But I think it's so important, like you learn all these things in school that you never learn again, algebra, stop, CPR, do you know what I mean? It, it makes sense. I mean, even before you know, I learned all about it, I'd, I'd look and think, oh look, there's one of them yellow boxes outside that gym. Well, there's one of them yellow boxes outside of Tesco. I didn't know anything about it. Now, how they can save people's lives.